this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a GIF animation to your Gmail signature. So if you want to learn how to make your Gmail signature look like this, then keep on watching. Hi friends, it's Larissa. Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, this is a place on the internet where I help fellow real estate agents level up their media game with Canva and the Wolfpack here at eXp Realty. As mentioned in the intro, I'm going to be showing you how to elevate your Gmail signature by adding a custom branded animated GIF to your Gmail signatures. This is a great way to make you look super impressive stand out and to also capitalize on the digital real estate space you have with a standard ordinary gmail signature so this is going to be a three-step process first i'm going to show you how to design the graphics in canva second i'm going to show you how to create the animated gif with a third party website and third i'm going to show you how to format the Gmail signature inside a Google document to then insert into your Gmail signature settings. And as a bonus, I'm going to be showing you within this tutorial how to add your own social media icons with clickable links. So be sure to watch this entire tutorial all the way through and repeat if needed. So let's dive right in. All right, to begin, here we are at the Canva dashboard. So first we want to create a canvas design that is 1080 by 1080 pixels. And typically for ease, I just choose this Instagram square post here. So we are going to be adding or creating all of the graphic elements we want in our animations, as well as creating our special social media custom icons. So let's go ahead and start this design. So first off, I like to go into elements. And first off, I'm going to be uh, putting in my profile picture. So I'm going to go into frames and you can go ahead and choose this regular circle one. But I believe if we scroll down, we will find a circle with a frame so this one here and i like this one because you can change the outline of the color so that right now it's set to this teal blue but we can make it purple if you want to so this is going to be our uh, profile picture so i'm going to go into my folders here my headshots here and i'm just going to use this photo so there, profile picture. Now let's add another page here. And we are gonna start creating our other icons. So for myself, I want to put in my real estate brokerage logo, as well as the, the Wolfpack logo, which is the incredible organization that I am part of, and as well Canva, because I am a Canva champion and I'm affiliated with Canva. So for this, I want to put this on a gradient circle. So just type in gradient circle and I typically like to use this pink one here and I'm just going to blow this up like make it take up the whole space now the key to this is you want to make sure that this circle is the same size as this circle uh, it's pretty close okay then I'm going to change this color to my brand colors let's choose this one and this one and there we go yellow like that now like I said, I'm going to be adding in my brokerage logo. So let me go and find that. For the GIF animation, I want to have just these four individual slides. Now, next up, we are also going to be creating, again, your social media icons. For me, I'm on YouTube, Instagram, and I have a link tree. And so I wanna make sure that I add those icons also into my email signature so people can click on them and be directed to those different sites. Now, the next step is to download all of these graphics as a PNG with a transparent background. And if you notice here, this has the Canva Pro crown. So this means you do have to have a Canva Pro account in order to download images with a transparent background. But don't worry, I got you, friend. If you're interested in trying out Canva Pro for free, I have a 30-day free Canva Pro trial that you can find the link in the description box below or in the pinned comments below to test this out for yourself. So now go ahead and download all of these icons to your desktop. All right, now that you have downloaded all of your 
icons to your desktop. Now we want to head over to easygift.com. I will have this website link in the description box below, but this is where we are going to be creating the GIF. So this is a free website. So when you're on here, we're going to go to GIF Maker, and then we're going to choose files. Also, shout out to Danny Walker, who is a member of the Wolf Pack, who showed me this incredible website. So now we want to select what we want to have in our GIF animation. So in this case, I'm going to be putting my photo, EXP, the Wolf Pack, and Canva. So we're just going to go ahead and select those pages and hit the open or upload button. Now you have those four files or how many other files you want up to you. We're going to go to upload and make a GIF or GIF. So now we are at this page here. And typically what I like to have the time frame is anywhere between 60 to 70 uh, milliseconds. So let's go with the 70. And then we want to, for effects, we want don't stack frames. Now, at this point, make a GIF and it's going to populate it for you and it's going to show you what it looks like. And the speed is not that fast, not too slow, but again, if you want to make it faster, just go down in time. If you want to make it slower, go up in time. So I think in this case, I want to make it a little bit slower. So I'm just going to go up and then just make GIF again and then it will repopulate itself. So it's just slightly a little bit slower. So that's what the GIF looks like. Now we want to scroll down just a bit more and hit the save button. Now that's gonna, going to download it directly to your desktop. So if you are a Mac user like myself, it does play a back in the preview. So this is what it looks like. It looks great. So now I'm gonna show you how to put this into your Gmail signature. All right, now we are at step three of this Gmail signature tutorial. Now this is where we're going to be formatting the actual Gmail signature. And the reason why we're doing this is because Google Docs is the same or compatible with the Gmail signature settings and doing so in the Google Docs gives you much more customization and creative freedom to make it how you want it to look. So with this, what we're going to do first is go into, I believe it is insert, and we are going to insert a simple table. So it's two by one. And now this is where you'll have to play around with the sizing and dimensions. Typically when I make my Gmail signatures, you want this, this space to be almost half of this document and not sure why that is, but it just seems to work this way because you don't want it to be too big or else it won't properly populate into your just into your Gmail signature settings. So first off, we are going to be inserting our GIF. So how do we do that? It's actually very simple. So make sure your cursor is there and we are going to insert and we're going to insert image upload from computer. And I have that in my downloads and it's right here. Go ahead and open it. And it actually does play back in the actual Google document, which is amazing. Now at this point, you can go ahead and add in all your contact information and I'm just going to speed this part up. All right, now at this point, like I said, you can add in any of your contact information. Of course, if you are a real estate agent, add in your uh, service area and of course your personal cell number. So your clients know how to contact you. But now I'm gonna show you how to add in those custom social media icons. So remember how we made that in Canva. Now we're just going to be inserting those images and icons right underneath here. So again, go into insert image and upload from computer. And we're gonna go back to these designs. I believe I can highlight all three and it will just open right here for me. Now, this is super huge and that's not what we, what we want. So we are just gonna shrink all of these down so that they're gonna be nice side by side. There we go. Let me just zoom up just a little bit more. So you can make them as big or as small as you want to, but I just like to keep them just like that. Now, at this point, what we're gonna do is add an icon. So if we right click each icon, you will see it says down here, insert link. 
Now go ahead and just copy and paste those links in. So here's my YouTube. I'm gonna paste that in, apply. All right, so there you have the Gmail signature format. The last step is to change the chart or table lines to white. And how do we do that? Well, I'm going to simply click on each line and at the same time, hold down my shift key on my keyboard and simultaneously click, oops, click each, click each line like that. So I can highlight every line and then we are just going to make it white like that boom the lines are gone so that is what it is going to look like now let's go ahead and open up our gmail settings so if you're on the gmail dashboard we want to hit this coggle button i believe it's called or this gear button that's your settings and we are going to go into see all settings now we have to scroll down and find your G your Gmail signature settings. So right now I don't have any, so I'm going to create new. And I'm just gonna name this as test. And now go back into that Gmail document and what we're going to do is simply highlight this entire chart. We're going to hit Command or Control C to copy and then go back into settings and we are going to simply paste it. Command or Control V and there you have it. Everything is all copied over. Now, it's very simple. Now, the next thing is to make sure that we give it a designation. So make sure uh, for new email use, we're gonna put test here and for out email use, test here. So we wanna make sure that it is properly linked to your, to your outgoing emails. So now scroll all the way down and hit save changes. All right, let's test this bad boy app. Okay, let's hit compose at the top here. I'm going to expand this and let's send it to myself. And then let's just right out here, check out my amazing email signature. Boom. Hit send. All right, I've opened up my other email and this is what it looks like. It's super clean, super fresh. It doesn't take up too many spaces, but it makes your email signature that much more impressive, clean, and just, I think it, it just looks so cool. And again, these are all clickable links. So if we click this, it's gonna bring us to my YouTube channel. Click this, it's gonna bring us to my Instagram. And finally, if you click this, you, again, you can add in your website. But in this case, I just put my link tree and there you have it. Ta-da! There you have it, friends. That is how you add an animated GIF to your Gmail signature. So now you look super impressive and amazing. If you enjoyed this video tutorial on how to add a GIF to your Gmail signature, please give this video a thumbs up, comment down below a smiley face emoji, and subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to share this exact tutorial with your friends so they can know how to do this too. And again, if you are interested, I do have a 30-day Canva Pro for trial that you can check out in the description box below or in the pinned comments down below. As always, thank you for being here and until next time, we'll see you next time. Bye friends!